Okay. All right. We are recording this cast. Okay. All right. So you go ahead and start. Okay. Um, hi, I am Nancy Cast. And I'm Thomas Henderson, and we are a pre algebra aid inclusion co teaching team from Peasley Middle School in Gloucester, Virginia. Uh, this is my 14th year teaching. And this is my eighth year teaching uh, special education inclusion math in my first year here at Peasley. And this is our first year uh, team teaching together, and it has been a rewarding year for both of us and most importantly for our students. And we're going to talk about some of our co-teaching strategies today. We'll just give you a broad overview. Um, we utilize various effective co-teaching models across uh, the two classes that we share, and we'd like to talk about those specifically now. Nancy, I'll turn it over to you. Okay, so we do have two um, two classes together, and um, we utilize in them we utilize one teacher, one assistant. We do alternative teaching, we do team teaching, and um, we use all those models to ensure that all of our learners have equal access to the pre-algebra math eight curriculum. Um, when we're using one teach one assist model, uh, one of us we and we take turns um, lead the instruction of the content and guide students through sample problems. We complete warm up problems together. Um, the other one floats around the classroom, making sure that um, students are getting feedback immediately as they're working through those examples. Um, we check students for accuracy. We ensure that they're engaged and on task. And then we also provide uh, positive reinforcement through the form of tick tickets. So we give out tickets every day. And we do a drawing every day. Um, in class for a small prize. So there's immediate um, immediate reward system for, for students. Um, we also integrate the team teaching model into the one teach one assist model. We do so by taking turns working over a set of notes, sample problems, and even taking turns going through quizzes or PowerPoint, PowerPoint slides or other technology. Um, this gives students a fresh perspective on the content um, we deliver it in different ways with the same goal. So we generally implement the alternative teaching model when we reach the independent practice section of um, a lesson. When that occurs, Thomas will take the students who require specialized instruction um, in math, and uh, he also will take struggling learners, and they'll go to his room to reteach skills and further support students and um, scaffold independent, uh, independent work assignments. Um, in our second period class, we, we, we did utilize a similar co-teaching structure as in our first period class for uh, the first few months of school, but we determined as the year went on that the personal dynamics in the classroom were evolving to such to cause potential behavioral concerns and disruptions. So for our second period class, we opted for the parallel, parallel teaching model um, so as to avoid issues and to better ensure student success with that lack of uh, potential disruptions. With this co-teaching model, we divide the class pretty much in half. Um, students who require specialized instruction in math, you know, students with IEPs that get special education services, and students who tend to struggle with math, um, as well as students who are achieving in math come with me and the other students stay with Nancy. Um, we follow the same class structure and cover the same content in both classes, um, although I'll general, generally spiral back on skills with my group to ensure the proper background skills are there. Um, in order for students to be successful with the, the uh, content we're teaching. And this, again, is mainly for uh, behavior management reasons that we employ this option, um, but in the end, it benefits both groups of students academically. Um, talking about our co-planning strategies, we tend to plan entire units out at a time um, with the other pre-algebra teachers using the SOL, stand, SOL standards as our main roadmap. We tend to set a tentative testing date using the timeline set by the VDOE and we fill in the time in between with the necessary sk uh, skills students need to possess, methods of formative assessments we're gonna implement to help guide our instruction and uh, opportunities for students to address uh, standards-based IEP goals. And we'll also look at the division pre-algebra eight unit assessments that are made and ensure that everything we teach covers the material tested on. Okay. Um, one of the areas that makes us a good co-teaching team is our flexibility when it comes to how we have um, units planned out. We may decide based on formative assessments that we need to reteach something or spend more time on a specific skill um, before we go ahead and move on. And um, we're really flexible and we, we make that work. 
when the data indicates it's necessary, we adjust the timeline, um, we tweak our lessons for a, a unit to better ensure student comprehension of the material before we move on. We also frequently debrief on how lessons go. So we chat all the time and we adjust things for the next class to address student needs. <clears throat> These adjustments may occur with the whole class. They could occur with our alternative teaching groups or in our parallel teaching groups. This requires a level of professional trust on both of our parts and um, acknowledging that we both possess insight as to what is necessary for our students to, to best succeed. Yep, exactly. Um, in addition to these co-planning components, we always consider um, effective instructional strategies such as mnemonics, graphic organizers, you know, math manipulatives, concrete representational displays of math concepts, and whatever technology tools that we can integrate into our lessons just to better enhance student engagement. Um, and these instructional strategies we use maybe ones that you know we've seen used and proven successful in the past and you know previous classes or settings or maybe ones that we've recently discovered that we want to utilize um, being as we're both experienced teachers at this point it's safe to say um, we're able to bring various strategies to the table to incorporate into our classes and the beauty of a co-teaching setup like ours is that we can use different and multimodal strategies across our different co-teaching models for example, you know, Nancy may use one strategy with one of her groups, whereas I'll use a different strategy I've seen be beneficial to diverse or struggling learners in one of my groups. In addition to that, I think that we both are very receptive to each other's ideas. Yeah. So if we bring something to the table, um, it's never, never a closed door um, on being able to try new things. Um, but after we take those things into consideration, we look at who will prepare materials such as copies and canvas assignments, the modules, the agendas. Um, we take turns with making copies. I tend to cover getting the materials onto canvas. And we also consider which co-teaching model will be most appropriate for a given lesson. So depending on what we do put on canvas, we evaluate how we're going to deliver it um, and what teaching model. So the co-teaching model that we employ may be very depending on the specific activity or the lesson for that day. As for assignments requiring hand grading, I grade the students that are with me for that assignment and Thomas will grade the students that he works with. So there's, there's many, many more components to our inclusion co-teaching setup that we don't have time to cover in this video. And again, this is just a broad overview of our co-teaching practices which we feel are successful, especially considering this is our first year uh, working together in this kind of setting. And uh, there are many other factors we consider and implement to ensure that you know, student services and accommodations are provided that, uh, and that we use to optimize instruction for all of our students and you know, strategies that ensure a predictable and structured learning environment for our students. I think that's a, a big, component to our class is very structured, very predictable, and I think that benefits our students all. And at the end of the day, Thomas and I work together to ensure that all the students have an equal opportunity to learn and thrive in the classroom, and I think that's what makes our co-teaching models work. Yep, 100%. So that's a broad overview of our co-teaching setup, and we hope to uh, be able to delve more in depth into it for the VDOE and uh, give you guys some more insight. Take care.